Hey, it's Jason. Have you ever noticed that when it comes to webcams, it just feels like we've accepted the fact that the vast majority of the times that we use one will just be a subpar experience? Case in point, Apple only very recently updated their integrated webcams on their extremely popular MacBook Airs from an embarrassing 720p camera to a moderately better 1080p one that, if I'm being honest, is still pretty meh. And it's kind of interesting because the world we live in today where there's a ton of streamers and content creators like myself, not to mention that a sizable chunk of the modern workforce is virtual to some degree, it seems as though the need for a good webcam is higher than ever. Well, my good friends over at Insta360 may have hit the nail on the head with a solution to this problem with their new Insta360 Link2 and Link2C webcams. They reached out asking if they could sponsor a video of me checking them out and man, these things are impressive. But before we jump into it, a real quick plug for the free JSL newsletter. I send subscribers a new full res wallpaper every week as well as links to really good tech deals and random articles written by yours truly. It's totally free, link to subscribe will be in the description below. So first, let's talk about the similarities and differences between the Link2 and the Link2C and let's start with design. The webcam module is essentially the same for both, coming in this rectangular housing with the camera on the left and microphone on the top. The main difference difference from a design perspective is that the Link2 is integrated onto a gimbal that can rotate the webcam horizontally and vertically. They both, however, connect to the included stand magnetically. It's a really strong and secure connection and I love this part of the design because it's super easy and fast to set up and start using. Both the Link2 and the Link2C are powered via USB Type-C and both include a beefy USB-C to USB-C cable, but Insta360 does include a Type-C to Type-A adapter in the box which is great for broader connectivity. Now when it comes to what's inside, they're both equipped with half inch sensors that can provide users with a 4K resolution at 30 frames per second and the hardware is as impressive as it sounds. I mean just take a look at the difference between how this footage looks coming from my MacBook Air. Again, it's acceptable at best but definitely nothing to write home about. But now compare that to how this footage looks coming out of the Insta360 Link 2 and the quality difference is night and day. There's so much more sharpness and detail that you can notice on my face and even in the background behind me. And this isn't good lighting. If we do a similar comparison in a dark room, the difference here is even more jarring, which really speaks to the difference a larger sensor provides when it comes to image quality. Moreover, both webcams can take advantage of a ton of useful effects and features through Insta360's Link controller software. For example, there's a natural bokeh effect that subtly blurs the background while keeping you in focus to give viewers that DSLR depth of field type of look and it works really well. It does a solid job with edge detection and it does a really good job of helping viewers focus on the subject in a more engaging way. You also get a blur option when you need some more privacy around your surroundings and multiple background replacement options for more professional calls. And what's great is that you can use your smartphone as a remote control by scanning this QR code on the Link software, giving you access to all the Link controller controls in the palm of your hand. And something that's very different from most webcams, both the Link 2 and the 2C can also take video in a vertical 9 by 16 aspect ratio, which makes it ideal for when you're communicating with folks who are using a mobile device. So you can use something like this mini tripod that Insta360 makes and attach the connector plate to the quarter inch thread. After that, connect either webcam to the magnetic base and then tilt the camera vertically. You can then select portrait resolution on the controller software and you'll be able to stream in this aspect ratio in 4K30, which is pretty great. But it's not just the larger sensor that allows for the significantly better output. The Insta360 Link 2 and the 2C also leverage AI algorithms to enhance the video by adjusting the settings based on the environment that you're in. This is especially noticeable when you're using HDR mode. You can see that I'm backlit behind this window, but I'm still able to be properly exposed without the background being completely blown out. And in addition to the resolution improvement, both the Link 2 and the 2C support phase detection autofocus for fast and accurate autofocus in various scenarios. You can see how quickly the Link 2 is able to grab focus on something I'm trying to showcase in the frame and how quickly it's able to focus immediately back to my face when I put it down. This is great for folks who use their webcams for more dynamic activities as you don't have to worry if you or the thing you're trying to showcase is properly focused. Now one key differentiator for the Link 2 is that it can take advantage of Insta360's AI tracking. The Link 2 detects and tracks an individual or group as they move while keeping them in focus which significantly expands the utility of how a webcam can be used. This is a total game changer for those giving live tutorials on something that requires a range of movement. It's kind of like having a cameraman on set to be your partner. 
On the Link Controller software, you can customize the tracking speed and what part of the body the link to will track. You can also define your presentation space with customizable tracking fences that set a boundary to where you want and don't want the camera to track, which is great. And if you want the tracking turned off, you can press the button on the link to itself, or you can use this palm gesture to start and stop the tracking. You can also use this gesture here to zoom in and out, which is super convenient. This allows you to get that perfect frame without going back and forth between the computer, especially helpful when you're a one-man operation. The attached gimbal also allows the Link 2 to take advantage of desk view mode that tilts the webcam down to capture an overhead shot of your desk. This is super helpful if you're wanting to share any of the work that you have in front of you, such as documents or sketches, and it can all be controlled via the Link controller software. Now, the Link 2C also has access to the desk view mode, but you will need to manually adjust the base plate to get the right angle. Now, although the Link 2C doesn't have the same AI tracking as the Link 2, it does have an auto framing feature that uses intelligent zoom controls to keep everyone in the frame and centered, so it kind of mirrors the tracking experience. And this is great for when you have multiple people on the call or live stream, as the Link 2C will automatically detect if there's more than one person in the frame and adjust accordingly, and you can use the same palm gesture in this case to start and stop the auto framing. Both the Link 2 and the 2C can also use a feature called whiteboard mode, which automatically detects and enhances a whiteboard that's in the frame. This is great if you're doing a tutorial and you need your audience to see what's on the whiteboard, and Insta360 made it super easy to engage and disengage this mode. All you have to do is give this peace sign, which again, makes managing your presentation a lot easier. And both webcams come with respective privacy modes, which Insta360 made really easy to engage. For the Link 2, just rotate the gimbal 90 degrees downward, and for the Link 2C, use the built-in privacy switch to manually close the lens cover. Now, video quality and the features associated with it are no doubt major contributors to the webcam experience, but another critical component is audio, something that Insta360 put a lot of thought into for the Link 2 and the 2C. You can actually select the Link 2 series as the audio source when using third-party platforms for crystal clear quality audio while you're having a meeting, and it's not just good mics being used here, but AI as well. There are three different audio modes that you can choose from, one of them being voice focus that is ideal for when you're alone in the meeting and you want your voice highlighted, but you want to drown out some of that ambient noise. This is a test of the voice focus mode on the Insta360 Link 2. This is the mode that you use when you're alone. It should take out some of the ambient noise and really focus in on your voice. Then there's the voice suppression mode. This is ideal for when you're in a busy environment like a shared lobby where there's other people talking around you. This mode filters out nearby voices and additional background noise. So this is a review of the voice suppression mode on the Insta360 Link 2. Uh, I have my son watching his iPad there as well as some yard work being done. So there's actually a lot of ambient noise. I'm curious to see how well Insta360 does with kind of drowning that out and focusing on my voice. And the last mode is music balance mode. This mode balances your voice with external background music, ideal for content creators and live streamers who are looking to amp up the engagement. So this is a test of the music balance mode. I do have some music on in the background. This mode should take my voice and the music and balance it out. Let's see if it works. And when you put all these features together, the Insta360 Link 2 and the 2C almost make the webcams that I've been using up to this point look silly. They're so much better. And if you're a content creator or someone who does a lot of online meetings, especially meetings where more dynamic movement is involved, these can seriously enhance the engagement with your audience and make your presentation life a whole lot easier. The Link 2 has a price tag of $199 US, while the Link 2C comes in at $149. If you guys are interested in learning more about either of these webcams or any of Insta360's other great products, use the link in the description below. And if you guys missed my review of the Insta360 GO 3S or their new Flow Pro gimbal, check them out here. They're going to help you be as informed as possible.